Hello Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network. You guys, we're going to get into another reading for you to see what the messages are, to see what you need to know. So you guys, be sure to get locked in. Like and subscribe so you can continue to catch the vibe. I appreciate all of you guys for being here. As always, don't bring anything into your life that does not belong. As always, as well, you can book your personal readings. If you want to get your personal question answered, get about 30 to 45 minutes to get your questions done. I don't know why I be having brain farts. But y'all can book below. I hope that you guys are doing well. We are going to use these sacred symbols oracle deck. All right. Anything you need to know is below in the description box. And if it's resonating... Share the video, put a comment, let me know, put a brain in the comments. Let's see for Pisces, guardian angels, like angel spirit guides and ancestors of the highest vibration, Father, Mother, God. What does Pisces need to know or be aware of at this time? What is the most important message for Pisces at this time? Spirit. Ooh, two cards wanted to stay on the table. I was about to say pyramid. She's working at the pyramid tonight. Working at the pyramid. Yeah. Past life and transformation. 14 and 19. Some of you guys are transforming from a past life or. It feels like you're evolving from your south node. Okay. Gratitude. Mm. So that's a 19, 14. That's 5, and that's 10. Gratitude is 35. That's an 8. And then new life. Oh. Whatever your old life was, it's out of there. Okay. You are transforming into the version of you who's going to have this new life. Okay, it's cute, right? It's cute. The new life is what's coming in. The past life is what's leaving. You are this butterfly. <laughs> Let me not break that face for it. Get my thumbnail. My nose is itching, y'all. This is your new life. And you're going to be feeling good. That's what I heard. That candle I told you to light, huh? You y'all lit the candle. Y'all lit them candles. Okay. That's what your spirit team wants you to know. To be very grateful right now for this opportunity, for what this is in your life. This is a chance to, you know, have a fresh start. And it's not so much like a fresh start, but it's your chance to like live in the fullest most true and authentic version of reality that you deserve to live in, okay? Where no one's in control but you, and it's not because you're controlling other people, but it's because you're controlling yourself, okay? What else does Pisces need to know when it comes to this message? Desires. Ooh, child. Self-pleasure, child. Self-pleasure, sexual thoughts, intense feelings. Mm. What else does Pisces need to know when it comes to these messages? Toxic love, drama, addictions, love, hate, relationship. I feel like you no longer desire toxic love. Hurting, crying, depressed, pain and sorrow, infatuation, denial, obsession, attraction. Yeah, I feel like for a while you were you were turned on by toxic relationship. Didn't mean to hit the mic. Did I ruffle some feathers? What else? Determined and reversed. Persistent, still holding on flowers and gifts. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Now you don't want that. Whatever you used to enjoy about struggle love, toxic love, whatever used to kind of like make you feel like that's what I want. I want somebody that's going to fight for me and da, da 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 And that's not a bad thing, but like it's bad when it's in that negative place. What else for Pisces? Secretive. 
Ooh, sneaky, mysterious, hidden information. Okay. Opposites attract, lessons, not your usual type, different spiritual beliefs. There could be somebody who's interested in you that wants toxic love, and you're just kind of like... Too old for that shit, bitch. Um, also, no contact. Block silent treatment. Cut off all communication. Um, yeah, so there's a there's two people here, it feels, and it just keeps coming up. But you, there, this is the thing. You're being very secretive about a person who you're dealing with that you're attracted to. I feel like you guys have a little boo thing or something, and... This person is not toxic like the people of your past. However, it doesn't mean that you still don't have boundaries with this person. I'm definitely picking up on that. People don't know that you're dealing with somebody if you are. Now, if you're not dealing with a person, this could be like toxic environments, toxic friendships, toxic groups, toxic communities. It could also be like a toxic work environment. Maybe you're finding another job and... Your current job doesn't know that you're looking for another job or, you know, your friends don't really know that you're kind of stepping away from them or that you're meeting new friends and making new friends. But that's what you're doing because you feel like those connections are toxic. Whatever it is that you're doing that is basically new in your life that you have not experienced before is where your head is really focused and you're being very secretive or mysterious about whatever that is, whether it be your new job or your new partner or something that you're doing that doesn't involve the people or the energies from your past. You're not letting people know what's going on. And a lot of those people are wondering what's going on because you're not fighting for whatever situation that they were involved in with you. You're not, putting your energy and effort into it like that. And they're like, Oh, where you at? Where you at? And you just like minding my business, bitch, minding my business. You know, like that's just what it feels like to me. Let's see. Ooh, excuse me. So why did this past life and transformation card come out for Pisces? The ending of a cycle Scorpio season for sure. There could definitely be a lot of people from your past coming back during Scorpio season. And I'm, I don't think Mercury's in retrograde. I don't think it has anything to do with like Mercury retrograde. It feels more like a situation where it's because you're transitioning into this new reality. It's because you're transitioning into this new timeline. That like the energies from your past feel your energy separating. Look, they feel you floating away. And so they're like, my balls just started itching. What's Pisces doing? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not saying that you got nothing to do with their balls. But it'd it be some weird shit to, to where people just be like, huh, I wonder what Pisces is doing. I just felt my nipples tingling. Where is Pisces? And, and you like, bitch, I ain't got nothing to do with your ass. Mind your business. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what is this past life and transformation for Pisces? Two of Pentacles. Yeah. You could be toting the line. You could be walking the tightrope. Here's the tightrope. Like, yeah. That's what I feel. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands. If you've been walking the line, towing the line, kind of like teeter-tottering on if you should completely separate, I feel like this is your confirmation. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands confirmation you have everything you need the cycle has ended you're good to go you've got your supplies you all packed up you could be a little nervous about ending these connections or ending these cycles or ending these relationships or whatever it is <laughs> look page of wands justice i'm telling you spirit is confirming that you're gonna be straight you're gonna be good you're gonna be good i feel like you've been given um you've been given equilibrium through a, a resource from spirit you've been given some type of resource from spirit 
to to hold you over or to give you some type of equilibrium until you get to the next you know phase or stage completely it feels like you've been given some type of insurance or some type of safety net security blanket something like that but it's not like it's holding you back it's just like you don't want to get caught up repeating the like you don't want to keep your your leg in the doorway too long because then your leg might get shut off okay cut off shut off whatever yeah because people may have opportunities to come yeah because there's some energies that don't want to see you do whatever this is they want to cut you off they want to cut off that leg cut off that dick no i'm just playing what's the two of pentacles for this transformation in past life nine of pentacles mm -hmm. this is a new opportunity you you reach the end of something Hold on, somebody just texted me, but my phone is on D&D, &D, bitch. Okay. <sighs> Child. Whatever they, whatever they saying, it ain't important. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords. This is all about your physical energy, your finances, your time. Mm -hmm. Somebody's upset or disappointed that you don't want to talk to them. Really bad. It's like real bad. I feel like you've mastered some type of balance as well. I'm not saying you mastered it, but you are staying balanced really well probably a lot better than what you think you are okay what's the two of pentacles there's an opportunity coming up for you here Ooh, five of swords and look how i fell out y'all look see how i fell out right on top of the nine of pentacles child i can't go for that no ah Five of Swords come out with that. Bitch. Who is this? Look, Sun card, Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Get the fuck out of here. Healed. Successfully healed. You've successfully healed from something. Some of you guys are successfully healing your finances. Yep. Because you've overcome some type of fear or anxiety about speaking up, stepping up, whatever this is. Mm-hmm. You realize your value. You're not insecure anymore. I'm just saying. Screw, screw, bitch. Okay. I don't know why people do that. They mess up their own car. Unless you got a car that do that. You get what I'm saying? Eight of Pentacles. Hang me in. Yeah, it's like this. What is this five of swords? I also feel like you. I also feel like you've kind of. Uh, you've kind of come to a place where <clears throat> you've made peace. It feels like with what has happened in your past that has led up to where you are right now. You've made peace with it, but it's like you haven't for forgotten. You've forgiven, but you haven't forgotten. You really are focusing on your success. What's this uh, five of swords? Queen of swords. Yeah, you already know who's the enemy. I feel like you already see clearly. You already, you already know who's an enemy. You see clearly who tripped you up in the past. You see 
You see clearly what tripped you up in the past. So it's like you're avoiding those obstacles that kind of like messed you up before when it comes to something you're working on or when it comes to being focused on task, on schedule, when it comes to doing what needs to be done, whatever that is. You know the things that stopped you from doing what you need to do in the past. So you're not going to let it stop you again. What's the Queen of Swords with the Five of Swords? Four of Cups, Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's like you don't want to feel disappointed again like you were in the past. Like, there was this overwhelming sense of regret. And it feels kind of like an overwhelming sense of dissatisfaction with the way things were going. And it's like you see clearly what caused you to feel like that. You don't want to feel like that again. The Lovers and the Four of Pentacles. This could also be where, you know, something good was going for you in the past and you weren't grateful for it and God took it away. However you believe, whatever you believe, God, universe, most high spirit, you were uh, focusing and dwelling on the wrong thing or you were focusing and dwelling on what you didn't have versus what you did have. And therefore it kind of got snatched from you and see, it's only going to be mature Pisces who are going to resonate with this because it's like your, your psyche, your mentality is evolving out of this South node energy. Because if you remain in your South node and you don't elevate and try to move towards the goals of your North node, then you, you will forever be in a victim mentality. You will forever be fucked with no Vaseline. And I'm gonna keep saying it. Cause that's what it is. But if you're mature enough to see what it takes to evolve, then you will evolve. You're very inspired right now. Your solar plexus chakra and your sacral chakra are active. I also feel like your third eye and your crown along with your throat chakra are very active right now. So a lot of you guys are speaking your new life into existence. A lot of you guys, that's why the desire card came out because you want this transformation. You want this to be your reality. You want to basically jump over to this new timeline and really live to your fullest and truest potential and be who it is that you know you can be. So it's like the childish play play games of your past life or of your South node no longer fit into what you see as your reflection. It no longer fits into the reality that you see for yourself. So the ways that you used to react and respond and conduct yourself, it doesn't even feel like it's you anymore. It's like you've turned into this wild animal kind of, okay? That's what this past life and transformation is about. You see clearly that loving what you lost didn't get you anywhere. So now you're going to love what, you, what you've got. <laughs> okay, don't make me start singing Project Pat now. Love what you got and remember what you had. It's okay to remember what you had, but it's not okay to like get stuck in it and dwell on it because that only pulls you down. I'm hearing a song in my head. Okay. Yeah. Yep, the Six of Cups was at the bottom. Magician. Okay, so what's this magician about? I just wanted to see what was going to come out. Didn't ask no questions. Don't ask no questions. Just see what happens. There's a blessing coming towards you. And you're going to see it differently than how you've seen blessings in the past. You, but Before, there was blessings that came towards you and you didn't appreciate it. But there's a blessing coming towards you. Don't ask. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, it's going to be sudden too in Scorpio season. All of a sudden, okay, something that you manifested is going to bring some type of abundance because you've been taking action. Scorpio, Libra, I want to say, Taurus, maybe Virgo again, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius. So this mentality, all of a sudden, this, this mentality, you're going to start, all of a sudden, you're going to see, it, it's not going to feel like it's sudden, but it is going to be sudden, but it's not because all of a sudden this, uh, 
mentality that you have above is going to come into the reality of below because you're focusing on something different. And it's and you're you're gonna see all of this abundance and joy and blessings come into your life, but the crazy part is they were already there. What's the magician? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody has a message for you, Knight of Swords. This is a Gemini. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands. It it could be any of the signs I called though. So whatever. Somebody's going to try to argue with you or start some type of argument or confrontation. Somebody want to fight. There's going to be something communicated to you. It feels like by this air sign and it's going to catch you off guard. Communication is coming in. That's going to catch you off guard. And it's probably from someone very immature. This could stress you out. What's the magician? Jesus. The sun. I also feel like there's some type of effortless communication or you need to know that communication shouldn't be so complicated with people. Three of cups, seven of wands, king of swords. It just kind of feels like somebody wants to tell you something that you don't expect, but it could be something positive too, though, because the sun card is here. This could be good news. Let me see. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands. It could be about a relationship, a home. What is, uh, what's the Knight of Swords? What are they saying? Oop, the moon reverse. So something, something's coming to the light. Okay. A secret is coming to the light. A secret is being revealed, told. Someone's thoughts, they're expressing their thoughts. Page of Swords. I'm going to put this King of Swords in. Yeah, there's the Tower, the Star, and the Empress. Some of y'all got something big coming up. What's the Knight of Swords? Justice. Yeah, whatever this is. It feels like this person has to say this. This could be you. Like you have to say something. You feel like you have to say something or it's the right time to say something. It's easy for you to communicate something now that may have been difficult for you to communicate in the past. Or there's a person outside of you who feels like now is the right time to say whatever they've been holding in, whatever they've been keeping secret. King of Cups, Ace of Swords. Yeah. There's a person who feels like it's the right time to reveal the truth to you. They they feel like this is it's now or never. What's the sun? This could be somebody coming towards you with good news. Page of Cups. King of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. There could be an older masculine letting a younger masculine know about something. Seven of Pentacles just popped out. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. What's the Eight of Pentacles? I mean, sorry. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Nine of Cups, Empress. Yeah. I don't know if this is just happening because you worked for it because I feel like a lot of y'all worked for something and you're about to get a blessing. And this time it's like all the blessings that you've gotten in the past, like you've known wealth, you've known abundance, you've known some type of happiness at some point in your life. And if you feel like, oh, I've never known happiness, then you still don't get it. But for those of y'all that get it, you've known some level of happiness or abundance or joy or 
a feeling of security in your life. You've known that you've experienced that. And there may be ebbs and flows to where in your life you have ups and downs and it, you know, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But this time with the sun, the justice and the empress with the moon reversed, It's like you knew that this moment was going to come. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah, there's some type of celebration professionally. Six of Wands. I keep pulling the last two readings, this one and the last one. This energy of like the star, the Six of Wands, like success, recognition, healing, like major healing. The, the, the Six of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Something is moving quickly and it could be a little bit intimidating, but I feel like you're ready to move forward towards this, uh, new experience. That's what spirit is telling you this whole time. So they're, they're getting you ready for a blessing that's going to come in that you have now learned how to appreciate. Okay. What's the advice for Pisces? Tell the king of wands, get his bitch ass off my titty. Thank you. Oh, my nose itching, y'all. I just got a different nose ring because every time I scratch this one, it just come right out. King of Pentacles, king of wands, four of wands. Some of you guys have two people. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who wants to be in a relationship or has some type of uh, desire to um, come together with you? This person may want to take you out on a date. If that's not the case, somebody wants to like reach a goal with you. They want to make some type of progress with you. What's the king of wands for advice? Yeah, you're close to accomplishing your goal as well. Like whatever that vision is that you have in your mind about like where you want to go, where you want to end up, who you want to be. It's starting to come to fruition now. And I feel like it's because you're more clear on what you want. And it probably took some of these long nights and, you know, sleepless nights and stressful days for you to figure out exactly what you wanted and exactly what you didn't want. And it's okay because like I said, if you've, if you've accepted this evolution and this transformative energy into your life, if you, if you've accepted get it together, bitch. If you've accepted this transformative experience into your life, you will either have understand or are about to understand, or you're beginning to understand that it takes those situations. It takes those leaps and bounds. It takes those forward progress moments and, you know, backwards progress moments in order for you to see clearly exactly what you want and what you don't want. So therefore, then your manifestation becomes clear, magician. You see what I'm saying? What's the king of wands? Yeah, the lovers. You're being drawn towards a choice or a vision or a decision. It's like you're being drawn towards a certain outcome or you're being drawn to invest into a certain endeavor. Because that's what you truly want. I feel like you've made good choices that are inspired from your intuition and you're following the inspiration. You're following what's pulling you. Yep. And there's the Ace of Wands. And it was a fight. It's a fight right now. You're fighting right now. But I feel like your desire to go towards what's new and what's different in your life is actually benefiting you in a very major way. Let's get some Kippers. Gemini's out here, like I said, Libra for sure. Taurus, possibly a Virgo, Leo, Cancer, or Capricorn. That Those could all be your North Node, whatever your North Node is. You might want to go check it out, see what's going on. Keep the goal in mind. If you're at the beginning of this journey, just keep your eyes on the prize, bro. Because I'm telling you, none of these little motherfuckers out here matter. Okay. And I'm not saying people don't matter, but at the end of the day, folks will get you fucked up out here. 
folks will get you fucked up and people pleasing and trying to please people who don't give a fuck about you and don't know any type of ins and outs or details about what you got going on will have you out here fucked up. Okay. It's happened to me several times. You got to get some backbone and you have to give some, get some, I don't give a fuck. Cause if you listen to what everybody says and you listen, I'm saying to the people who are kind of like figuring this out and feeling this journey out right now, you can't really care what people are going to say about you, what they going to do. Cause people will use that to do, to get you to do what they want you to do. People will use that to manipulate you and gaslight you and, and blackmail you into doing what it is that, that they want you to do. And a lot of these motherfuckers on this platform right here have done that shit to me after 30, 33 was on the timer. Go back and look. That means a bitch didn't tell no lies. I just had to cuss a bitch out the other day. I didn't even cuss her out, actually. I just told, I just stopped responding because I ain't finna spend my energy on you, ho. Because you want me to break down every single piece of your personal reading? No. And then go tell me, well, I guess my grandmother's spirit was telling me, my grandmother was telling me about somebody that was full of shit. I guess she was talking about you, bitch. You and your grandmother can lick the dirtiest part of the crack of my ass. I don't give a fuck. I don't know you, bitch. I don't know anything that's going on with you. I know you need to go on and shut the fuck up and get off my damn email. That's what I do know. You see what I'm saying? You got to not care because these folks that like, especially if you're the type of person who was always very, uh, uh, kind of like innocent with your, with your frame of mind when it comes to dealing with people, if you've always been that type of person to care, uh, for people, whatever that may mean, you've always wanted people to be happy. You've always wanted people to feel good you you've people pleased your whole life your mom and your daddy was probably stressed the fuck out or doing whatever they was doing and you just wanted everything to be okay you just were dealing with a bunch of chaos and you just tried your best to make it so that everybody was okay and you never took care of yourself and you always people pleased and you wanted everybody else to be good but you never really took enough time to pay attention to whether or not you was good. This, this is saying that what you're doing now or what you're deciding now to make sure that you're good and to kind of like put other people's feelings to the side, that's not selfish. People are going to try to make you think it's selfish, but it's not fucking selfish because you have to, at some point decide that you are going to wake up every day for you. I'm I, even, even when it comes to your kids for a long time, I even had videos to where like I was, Listen, stuff be coming up, child. And I went back to this video where I was going through a really tough time in my life. And like, as I look back, it was like congruent. Like everything was just consecutively tough because I was still in a tough mental and spiritual and emotional place. And really the only reason why I was waking up every day was because I didn't want my kids to experience the loss of their mama. I didn't want my kids to experience, um... I guess the feeling of like losing their mom, me passing away, something like that, me giving up on life. Cause it would have been so much easier for me to just go under a bridge somewhere and find some drugs. But I didn't do that. I didn't go under a bridge nowhere and find no drugs. I woke up every day and went to work and worked hard for my kids. And unfortunately I also let, Everybody and their mama walk all over me like a doormat and I was never happy. And now, bitch, I'm I'm not necessarily in the best place I've ever been in my life. If you look at like from the outside looking in or, you know, if you look at like financially or, you know, materialistically. But in my mind, in my in my mental space, in my crown, in my heart chakra, in my soul, I'm in the best place that I've ever been in my life, bitch. And can't none of these hoes out here, not can't not one of these raggedy bitch stinking ass, dirty flip flop wearing ass hoes out here tell me anything about myself, bitch. You can't. Because even though I have evolved and changed over time, I'm still like, if you go back and look at my old videos, I was cussing motherfuckers out just like now. And it's not necessarily that I'm cussing y'all out. It's just, listen, this is some real ass shit. And if you don't want to hear the truth of it, and you don't want to realize what's going on in order to benefit yourself, you you still fucking losing your mind. You still in that place of insanity. So, you know, 
at this point, what spirit is telling you is that you have victory over whatever obstacles that you're facing right now. If you keep your eyes on the prize and you focus on this goal. And that's what this time in your life, that's what you've been experiencing all these last few months and years. That's what it's been trying to show you. Is that as long as you focus and keep your eye on the prize and continue to take actionable steps towards what you want to manifest and you're actually putting time, energy, and effort into it, you're thinking about it. Not only are you thinking about it, but you feel you feel it at a, at a deep core level and then you take action on it, you put energy into it and you have that intention behind what you do, then you will be successful. It doesn't matter how many times you fluctuate up and down you will always be successful so i don't know who the fuck need to hear that but i said it bitch okay what if anything else is there for pisces that they need to know at this time toil and labor you may feel like you're not going anywhere this is an 11 so if you feel like you're not going anywhere that's not true there's some type of great fortune coming it's just the energy is gathering, okay? Courthouse, great fortune. Oops, sudden wealth. Be mindful of people who are just trying to come up off of you. Because that keeps coming out. What else for Pisces? Set boundaries with people. Despair in reverse. See what I'm saying? If you've been searching for a job, you can't find one, you about to find one. If you've been working a dead-end job and you sick of that shit and you about ready to slap your boss with the bottom of your boot, don't do not do it because you're about to get a better job or you're about to be allowed into a space that you felt like was restricted from you, okay? I don't know what that is. It, it feels like you've been doing something and doing something and doing a, and just repetitively doing something that you feel like is never going to pay off because the door is closed. Like you feel like the door is closed in front of you, but it's not, it's about to open up. You may meet someone who's going to give you some type of information. Okay. But just be mindful. Cause I just feel like there's people out there who are clout chasing and you know, trash bag bandit type energy that you need to watch out for. Okay. So that you don't get caught the fuck up. All right, let's see for Pisces, Guardian Angels, Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors of the Highest Vibration, Father, Mother, God. What's the advice when it comes to these messages overall for Pisces? Ooh, trust yourself. Treat yourself. Y'all might need to treat yourself too. Trust yourself. Yeah, because it's, listen, every time I go against my, my first mind, every time I go against, against my intuition, I end up fucked up. Whether it's behind someone else's actions and I'm not listening and I'm going along with what someone else is doing or whether it's behind my own second guessing myself and like, you know, self-sabotaging. Always go with your first mind. Go with your straight intuition because these motherfuckers out here is full of shit. Okay. And I'm not saying you can't trust, you know, anybody, but trust yourself first. And if you get a weird vibe, that means that somebody you just can't fucking trust. That's the number three. Change your perception and creation. Mm -hmm. Number four. Okay, so we got, wait, we got a three, we got a four. We got a 12 and a 15. Wait, no, sorry. Let me start over. Three, four, six, 12, 15. Okay? Change your perception. You can jump out the bowl. You have to trust yourself to be able to create the life that you want. And that's what I say is. So y'all be sure to like and subscribe to continue to catch the vibe. Book your readings today if you want to get into those personal situations. I'm telling you right now, if you book a reading, we break in curses. Okay, that's what I do. I break generational cycles and curses. And when you break chains and you break curses and you break cycles, it don't feel good sometimes. But it's going to feel better if you really stick with it. Okay, so don't book no reading and get mad because I tell you about yourself. OK, and it's not necessarily that I'm telling you about yourself to be hurtful or chastise you. It's because I want the best for you. And if you really want the best for yourself, it won't hit you in such a hurtful way. OK, but you guys be sure to get on the calendar if you do want to book. As always, let me know what you think in the comments. Put the brains in the comments. If it's resonating, share this with someone who you think may need to hear it. 
I love y'all as always. And I will see y'all next time. Remember, Pisces, this is our Circle Booze. Bye.